what's going on you guys uh, this is a random video and I'm not sure what this means I am still relatively new to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and excuse me I was playing as Joey and then you know I figured I want to do uh, a multi summon where which is where you open 10 packs and uh, sometimes you can get lucky sometimes it can be a really big downfall this is a fresh account by the way and the only thing I see right now are hieroglyphics in the background. Not sure what this is. And so, yeah. Time to see what I actually pull from this. So, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, it's something good. It seems like it has nothing but UR potential right now. That, that's the vibe I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm feeling right now. Uh, if it's not, you know, it is what it is. Obviously, these games have their ways of doing shit like this. But, oh, this thing is kind of, uh... Something interesting, so... Ooh, wish me luck, guys. Alright, Joey said BAM. Well, let's see, we have... Dark Cat with a white tail. I remember this card so much. It's been so long since I've seen this card ever played in my life. Next card is Storming Wind. Once per turn, you can tribute one wind monster. Well, I'm probably not going to really run any wind archetype decks, but thank you. Oh! <laughs> Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, guys. Look at this fucking card. Oh my god. I gotta scream that. Dude, guys, the hype, man. <laughs> the hype is lit right now, bro. <laughs> oh my fucking <laughs> I really can't believe I just pulled that. I'm trying to believe it, but I can't believe it. Wow. Alright, that was my last pack, so damn. Ugh, blue Eyes Ultimate. I officially own one Blue Eyes Ultimate. We got some pretty good cards in this uh, banner, too, guys. We got number seven, Ascending Soul, you know. But this. I actually used to play this card. Uh, Conscription, I believe we picked up two of them. We picked up two Crab Turtles, I saw that. Crash Clown, awesome. Curse of Aging, really good for starters. Chant the Javelin, I love that card. Discard one, you can't activate opponents with that. Wall Traps. Fortress Well, another really cool ass ritual card. And I got the <laughs> official uh, spell card for it, so. And then we have this, which basically brings it back from the graveyard. If you guys are unfamiliar, if you guys are new to Yu-Gi-Oh, how broke this card can be with, um, forget the monster's name, but he's basically Exiton. Uh, Demise King. There you go. This, in the deck with him, is pretty fucking lit. <laughs> Not that he's really playable anymore, but it, it's a really cool deck. Obviously, this is Got more of the uh, older gen cards. They they do have new cards too. Don't get me wrong. And you can target two track cards in your graveyard and shuffle those into the deck. That's also really good. I don't really have a deck with traps because I'm still running the starter deck, so I haven't really added cards to those decks. But thank you. <laughs> Hourglass of Courage. Six soldiers of the sky. Karate Man. <laughs> Meteor Rain. Order of Charge, a card I've noticed that uh, Taya has been using a little bit lately. <laughs> Rod of the Mind's Eye, another really good fucking card. It's a bit, I, well, depends, not really necessarily that new, but... <laughs> Snake hair, <laughs> Bones hyped everybody. You guys don't remember who Bones is? He was the guy who lost to Bakora in the graveyard, man. This, that guy was fucking weird as shit, but... Like this card. Love it. Obviously to negate traps. Turtle Oak. And there you go, guys. So, thank you so much for watching this summon video. I know I didn't actually do the full summon. It was just that last pack, you know. The minute I saw the hieroglyphics and shit in the background, I was like, you know, I seriously... Have to, have to, have to, no matter what get that on on video for you guys so thank you so much for watching i did pull some really nice things uh just 
a note to anyone who's new to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that if you get three Karibos, there's only a chance of really an SR character. If it doesn't, well, SR card, you guys understand what I'm saying. But, if you do, by some chance, get three Karibos, then you get the Hieroglyphics. Just know that it is, it is most likely a guaranteed possible UR card. So that's just for newbies out there who don't know, really know much about the game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This is another video from Anthony J. Mo on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I know in my first video I didn't use um, any audio, like me talking to you guys. It was just my first uh, video, so I was kind of getting introduced to the game myself, so I really didn't want to say anything, and then, you know, I happened to say something completely wrong, and then it just makes me look like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, why is this guy even playing this game? He doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, more Dokken Battle videos to come soon. Obviously, I do have the World Tournament up right now. And I've been grinding my ass off on it on my main. So, also guys, be looking <laughs> for a um, a Dokken Battle Awakening video. I was going to upload it actually today, but unfortunately I saw this and I just had to, you know, render this really quick and then upload it for you guys. So, the video that I originally had scheduled is going to come next time. So, sorry that I put that video on hold, guys. I just wanted to show you guys... You know, like what I got on my main and stuff. Just because, you know, I want to be more interactive on Dokken Battle. And I'm trying to get back into the, uh, the spirit of the game. I did lose my account, as most of you guys know. And I did re-roll another account just for the sake of my YouTube uh, fan base who watches most of my Dokken Battle videos. So I do have a re-rolled account with uh, God Tank. So he's my main lead. I uh, haven't really played it much yet. I did use it on Twitch. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Twitch, it's basically a streaming uh, website where you can stream live sort of what you can do on YouTube, except I think Twitch is a little bit better. You have more ways to interact with your fans, you know, obviously you have a chat room in YouTube and stuff like that, but you get song requests, you know, you get all this extra cool stuff with Twitch, you know, followers, subscribers, all that, all that good shit that you get on YouTube. Just, it's so much better than YouTube, guys. So, for any of those who might be, like, new to my YouTube page, but have met me from Twitch, they already know. But for those who are on my YouTube and never heard of Twitch or never even once been on Twitch, you know, hit me up on there sometime. I'm probably there almost every day I try to be anyway. I might not be active or online, but I might just like, you know, check my uh, whispers every now and then. So for anyone that does uh, only stick around on YouTube, if you guys want to see me do live action on Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3, which... I know it has been a big thing on my channel, and I also do want to stream at least one day some, uh... Tank IG Tag Team, sorry about that guys. Just because I want to get my mods shown on Twitch as well, and it'll be live for you guys to see that, so... Definitely check that out. I will link, uh, my Twitch through my channel art, so... After this video, if you guys want, go ahead and click right above to my channel, and then you guys can go ahead and check out, you know... My Twitch banner will have my uh, Twitter and shit like that linked. I didn't set that up, but now since I have a Twitch, I have set it up. And it's mainly just more towards my Twitch. So I do apologize that it's not really that close to my YouTube name, but I do want to, you know, try to get all that sorted out sooner or later. But I'm trying on it, guys, because I really do want to do more shit and, you know, stick with the brand name that I do have on Twitch because it seems to be really working out nicely for me. So, again, sorry. <laughs> I know I said by like three times already, this is going to be the fourth. I believe. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been such a pleasure. I hope you guys are enjoying your new year so far because I know I didn't really get to interact with most of my YouTube uh, fan base either. And uh, yeah, so take care everybody.